This video is going to look at the AO3 context of War Photographer by Karen Ann Duffy. So there are two important things about context to consider in this poem. One is uh, the war photographers that it's based on and two is the method by which they develop their photographs. So firstly we'll just mention that the poem comes from Duffy's friendship with Don McCullen and Philip Jones Griffiths. They're two really well-known photographers and they specialise specifically in war photography. And she's been good friends with them and, and through her conversations with them, she's become quite interested in what makes someone want to go and do that job. And particularly how they feel about being in a situation where you kind of have to make a choice between recording horrific events so that you can bring them back home and then potentially something will be done about them from home or actually being in the moment and helping the people that are there. And that comes through, I think, in the poem when um, the photograph begins to develop and it talks about um, he remembers the cry of the man's wife and how he sought approval without words to do what someone must. And um, also the idea that they have a hundred agonies in black and white for the Sunday supplement, but actually that the reader's eyeballs just prick with tears. And, um, and then they go and they have their pre-lunch beers. So there's a sense that when they bring these photographs home, is do they end up feeling that it's a little bit futile and that nothing's going to happen as a result of them? Um, there's also an important context about the type of photography that's used. She's deliberately set it um, a little bit in the past because now most photographers would use digital photography and just upload it directly um, to their editor. But actually this uh, talks about uh, old style film photography and um, that involves you having to take out a film but you have to do it in a dark room because it's very sensitive to light and the dark room basically has all of the light cut out of it and then only a special red light because that doesn't then affect the developing of the film. It gets put in big trays of chemicals where the images develop and then each one is hung out on a wire where they essentially dry off. But all of those images slowly developing and um, hanging around the room with the red light can create, sometimes people think a little bit of a sin uh, sinister atmosphere, but also potentially a kind of um, church-like or intense dark um, area of reflection. Also, you've got to add to that all of the smells of the chemicals, so it is quite an intense experience to be in a dark room. Um, and the poem, I guess, spends quite a lot of time looking at the contrast between the war zones that these UK photographers visit and then the safety of home and the idea that our journalists are trying to bring back the truth and that in one single photograph they will be able to show as much as they can about a war zone but of course it doesn't show everybody everything which is why we get the interweaving of what the image looks like with the stranger's features but then of course the cries of the man's wife who presumably are not in the picture and so we get this um, layering of what's in the actual photograph that the public will see and the photographer's own memories. And finally it's just worth saying that she kind of is exploring here that war photographers do quite a difficult job and quite a dangerous job. Many war photographers are killed and injured as obviously they get in harm's way in order to be in the war. Um, but I think also she's touching on the psychological damage that um, can be had where you are remembering all of these horrible things that you've you've seen and remembering the fact that you've taken photographs of them and, um, and that you're not feeling like it's made an awful lot of difference sometimes when people are reading their Sunday supplement and that only a few five or six photographs have been picked out and there's so much more that perhaps these people want the world to see about the war. And that's pretty much all you need to know for AO3 Context for War Photographer.